<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, special guest, a bootleg Drew. Hey, how you doing, people? And today we're playing Magical Musket Control, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor Slamuel, who wanted me to, to try out this deck a little... Not quite meta, but closer on the roguer tier. Probably one of the more powerful decks I've played. Uh, I had a lot of people actually express that they didn't want me to play this deck because it's a little bit, a little bit too linear in some cases. I honestly kind of like it. I feel a little mean sometimes playing it, but it's it's pretty fun. It's got its things, uh, especially with their new Link Monster, Magical Musketeer Max. Really helps them with consistency. Helps them going second, which was a huge problem for them. Now, if you just want the deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate shorter video there. I'll be going over everything in here, just explaining how it works. Otherwise, in this video, we're playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you some combos, and hopefully... Have fun. <laughs> Close uh. enough. <laughs> Alright, here we are, first duel versus Fabuki Tenjoin. Interesting name, Japanesey sounding. Mm. We're Freischutz, which normally I explain the the name a little bit later, but you were asking about it. It's I German was. for free shooter. Ah. Oh. Yeah, which is the name of an opera about a man who has he has he makes seven magical bullets that'll hit anything that he wants, except for only six of them will do that. The seventh one is guided by the devil himself. Neat. Ooh, yeah, it's an old, old, old German opera. Very interesting. And it's what these cards are based off of, actually. All the characters here, the names come from characters in that opera. Huh. And they've all got, like, cursed guns because their hands are turning, like, blue and demony. Oh, neat. Yeah. And, um, what's, what, what's the other thing? Oh, and they're also named after, um... They're named after that, and then they're also kind of based off of American gunslingers. Like, this is uh, Doc Holliday. Ah, oh, okay. That's why he's a doc. He's just Doc in America. Right. That says Doctor. Um, And we're in a bad way, because this guy normal summoned Vanity's Fiend. Uh, neither player can special summon, which is something I kind of need to do with this hand. Right. Unfortunately, I don't have any... I have some ways to get rid of this. What I just don't have guy? any ways right now. So, we're going to set this other guy. He's just there. He, oh. he just exists. It looks really mean. Yeah, we'll just set these. Um. Oh, actually, oh, I'm dumb. No. Okay, I I completely for. Okay, we'll be fine. Oh, we'll we we should. Yeah, most of the time, uh, we're playing against uh monarchs, and monarchs aren't really known for their. Interesting. Not going to attack my things. That's good. Okay, so we've got Casper. Right. He's the best one. He's not a very friendly ghost, as it might might. Might, you might think. Right. And so how the magical muskets work is their guns give them effects when you activate a spell into their the same column as them. Right, the same field zone. So I'm going to use this. This is just going to banish something. It's just a generic one. Right. But it's the point that... All right, I don't care. Turns out no one cares. So I activated that. His effect is when one activates, you get to search any magical musket card. Oh, what are you uh, going to search out? We're going to search out Desperado, big rocket Desperado. launcher. Desperado. Not quite. Oh. Despacito. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to Desperado. Um, I'm actually not going to activate it there. You can't. You only use it once per turn. Uh. But this is just going to blow him up. It just blows up a card, and he surrendered because all he wanted to do was sit on no special summons, I guess. But yeah, this guy, if you activate something in his column, he can get a magical musket out of the graveyard back to your hand. Right. So once you have these two, it's like, activate something, search something else, activate something here, get the thing you just used back out of the graveyard. Oof. And then you start like a never-ending cycle. So there's one win. This is probably, the, the, you're going to expect a lot of surrenders. People don't like this deck. <laughs> it could be very controlling. Although honestly, with how much setup he had, like, after that, there was really nothing we could do. We could attack him for, like, 1,200. He'd have several turns left. He's good. But, but you know, he didn't want to deal with our bullshit. He just didn't want to deal with bullshit. Bullet shit, rather. Oh. So let's go ahead into the second duel. <laughs> All right, here we are. Duel number two versus my arch nemesis player, 
come to show his ugly head around. And you want to go first with this. Mm. You want to go first and try to set things up, especially because Ties of the Brethren, very important. So this card says you can target a monster, pay 2,000 life points, summon two monsters that are the same level, type, and attribute, but with different names. Duh! And he surrenders. <laughs> A lot of people instantly sur because what that does is um basically it, you set your board up yeah because no the the problem with this deck is you can't swarm so it's normally one magical musket pass. Do you even want to count that as a win? Uh yes yes I do okay. I'm gonna count that as a win and I'll just explain this so we don't have to okay. to go any further but uh the level three they're all light fiends. So you get level three, and then you get the doctor, and you get the guy who searches stuff. Ah. So it's like, you've already got doctor and searchy boy who are yeah. going to be able to recycle and get you new things. Activating this here is going to activate his effect, and his is discard a magical musket, draw two cards. So I don't have anything to activate, like no more spells in my hand right, right. now, but I can then search through my deck, get something, and as long as I get one of them, and it's like, activate it on his turn, search, activate the other one, recycle, do the things. Wow. And it's just getting every... This is the most blue Yu-Gi-Oh deck, <laughs> for lack of a better better it term. Very, it is very blue. You, you'll, you'll see it when we actually start doing plays and stuff. Yeah, I was about to say that Insta-Scoop, though. <laughs> Jesus. Insta-Scoop, yeah. People are, are afraid of this deck. <laughs> it's like being held at gunpoint. <laughs> 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 All right, here we are. Third duel versus testing. One, two, three. I just added the one, two, three myself. I'm not sure if he's actually testing. We're going first. This time we don't have the awesome hand. In fact, this is kind of meh. But, uh, you know, we still got some things. I think, yeah, we're just going to put this out here. You don't really want to start with Doctor because he just recycles things from the graveyard. Right. But because he's so good... You still want to run him at three, even if you can occasionally get brick hands and stuff like this. Understood. So it's like, yeah, we're not going to be able to recur anything. But we've got this, which again, just rocket launch whatever they have, blow some shit up. And hopefully if we can stall, if we can slow them down enough to get to a second turn, then I can use the, the Link Monster. And the Link Monster is like the best like turn two recovery card ever. We'll get this guy. He's got, what, 44, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so 50 card deck. Only 9 cards in the extra deck. Super testing. Biding his time. And see, that's, this is the most scary thing about this. He doesn't know if I have four four of these in my hand. Right. Or if I have, like, nothing in my hand. <laughs> what could he possibly be using all those 50 cards for? I have uh, some sort of graveyard shenanigans, maybe. Maybe new, there, there's a new, there's, uh, it's an old deck called Infernoids. Right. And their whole ideal, ID, their, the whole thing is they can't be summoned normally. They can only be summoned by banishing other Infernoids from the graveyard. Uh. So you, like, have to mill them. And so it's like, ah, eh, it's kind of hard to get that, as many as you need in the graveyard. But there's this old card called Monster Gate. Used to be at one, now it's at three. And its thing is, like, tribute a monster... Mill cards from the top of your deck until you get a monster that can be normal summoned and summon it. Uh... And because all their monsters are like, you can't be normal summoned except for like one, they'll play like a 60 card deck, monster gate something, and then they'll mill like 30 cards off their deck, and then they can just swarm the field with huge beat sticks and annihilate the world. Oof. You okay, bro? <laughs> Okay, bro. You got, you got, you got a thing. You're about to run out of time, and you haven't even done anything. Testing. 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 Our patience. One, two, yeah, more like it. At least we get a chance. I got my sleeves. Just got all the people yeah, on. Yeah, I was about to comment how, like, artsy those sleeves They're, like, are. They're like ghostly looking. They like it makes me think of like a uh, like a movie poster, like some epic deal with the devil story. Yeah. It's like, I tried to get that. You got the big, the devil himself, the black yeah. huntsman he's called in the, the opera. Okay. They're like, you couldn't actually say the devil back then. Right. There, there's a mysterious black huntsman who wants your soul. Yeah, it's them, like, looming over all of them, and there's a couple other, and, uh... Yeah, yeah we're one... not gonna count that one. No, I imagine not. Well, we'll just go ahead. We'll find a real third duel. <laughs> You're like, I, I thought we were gonna play card games, Joe. I thought Joe. we were gonna play card games, make some happy fun time. <laughs> now we're just sitting here watching people surrender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, girl, <laughs> with me. Apparently, my girl is with this person in the third duel. What he doesn't know is I don't have a girl. He's probably just, he just has Siri. That's what he's talking about. We're going second. 
Not the best. We've got... Oh, Zodiac. Very interesting. When these were first announced, mm -hmm. people were calling these the new Zodiac. A couple people. They, they, they didn't really know what they were talking about. These seemed really, really good when they first came uh. out. And then they were underwhelming because it's that, that exact thing like, if you get all musketeers and no no uh, no muskets, right? Like, you can't do anything. If you get all bu or bullets rather, right? It was like if you get all bullets and no musketeers, you can't do anything. Interesting. And so there's a lot of times like, especially if you go first, you start with maybe one disruption, and then if they play through that and just uh, like dominate the board, there's no way for you to come back. What did he just do with that? He just sent the two of them to make uh, Mrs. Radiant. Hmm. She gives all Earth monsters 500 attack and defense. I'm guessing they're Earth monsters. Yeah, all the Zodiacs are Earth. Hmm. Because they're the the Zodiac of the of the planet Earth, I guess. Oh. I don't know. Zodiac Hammer Kong. Hammer Kong. Yeah, they're 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 all monsters of the Zodiac. Hmm. Their big thing was their one card Ixie summons. You can just Ixie summon one on top of the other one. Ah. Uh. Tiger Mortar. She's just like, you watch out, you, I got a big thing, I'm so angry, you don't even know. Dang. Yep, and they're, so they, they you can just stack them on top of each other, just keep summoning more, um, and they all gain effect equal to all the things attached to them. Oh. And then a lot Neat. of the a lot of the ones have effects, like, if this is attached to this monster, um, and your opponent would target it with an effect, it's cancelled. Oh. Or something like that. There's different protections and, and things. They used to have one that could, like, destroy cards during either player's turn. That's banned. They also had one that could search anything. That one's banned. So now their whole thing is just, like, get a bunch of attack and hope you win. Mm. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out with Casper, the friendly ghost. I'm going to put him over here, actually, just in case. And we've got this, a pendulum monster. Oh, If neat. you played in the pendulum zone... You contribute it and then blow up a spell trap. Oh. If you normal summon it as a monster, you contribute it, blow up a monster. Okay. So it's just removal. But the important part is because it counts as a spell, it'll trigger this guy's effect. So I can search a thing. Most notably, this guy. Cross Dominator. Cross Dominator. Target a monster, change its attack and defense to zero, negate its effects. So now that I've done that, let's just go ahead and blow that up. Interesting. True Dracos? That's not something I expected. Alright. Um, let's see here. Okay, now we're gonna try for the... We're gonna hope this isn't something that can negate my summon. We're gonna make Max. Because what Max does is when he's summoned, you can add magical musket spell traps equal to the number of monsters your opponent controls. So, be like, yeah, I'll just take one of these... And I'll take one of these, and you know what? I think I'll take one of these, too, just to make sure I have everything. Damn. <laughs> like, well, fuck, man, shit. And then this one, Crooked Crown, is like, during the main phase, you can summon a magical musketeer from your hand. So we get another boy on, on, on here. All right. He's a good boy. He's a good Which guy. makes him sound like a puppy, but he's not a puppy. Okay, so I'm scared of this thing, so what I'm going to do is blow that up. Just boom. Get out of here. Also, give me Casper back. I need him. <laughs> he's a friendly ghost. He's, <laughs> he's, a, friendly a, he's ghost. a good pupper. Um, and then we're going to use uh, Steady Hands. Steady Hands doubles a monster's attack, but it can't attack directly this turn. Ah. Which is good for just like, I'm going to attack over this thing. Oh no, Mirror Force! Fuck you. <laughs> Negate a spell trap. <laughs> Boom! Headshot! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, doesn't he feel right and silly right now? Doesn't he just. Well, I guess I'll just reevaluate my life Wait, then. Man. And yeah, this is. I was telling you in the car, I was like, there's sometimes you just like absolutely like oppressive where it's right. like. Okay, uh, I can summon another monster during his turn. I can negate his monster. This thing stops them all from being destroyed by card effects. I'll be able to recycle whatever I want. Like, and he has two cards. And it's just like, I don't think there's anything he could do at this point. He could try. I mean, we'll see. But whatever he makes, I'm like, I'm just going to turn it into zero. It's not going to be able to attack past me. So he's already lost. He just doesn't know it yet. 
Unless, watch, he'll pull some weird shit out of his ass, I but won't expect. by golly, is he trying. Yeah. He's gonna be trying. I mean, he is playing a deck from, like, three years ago, so I can't can't blame him. It's not at full power. It has to use Hammer Kong. Most of the regular decks don't use Hammer Kong. Although, what was it? I, I made a version of this deck uh, after they got banned and everything. People were like, well, they're unplayable now. And I'm like, finally, my chance. I'll make one and it'll never be banned. And I made, there's one that, like, can attack directly. Ah. And my whole thing was just, like, stack everything up and you get it to, like, 4,800. And then there's another card that's, like, double a beast's attack. So I just get him to, like, 8,000 and then attack directly with him and have, like, 12 materials underneath him. Oof. It was just nutty. It was a nutty. Oh, is it a cat girl? Dog girl? I don't know what a chaka nine. I guess it's a canine. I guess it's a dog girl. Yeah, it's a dog girl. Dog girl with a giant oversized metal fist. Because why not? Neat. Good job, Yu-Gi-Oh. Magic the Gathering doesn't have dog girls with oversized metal fists. No, it does not have dog girls with oversized metal fists. I want to accentuate that point. <laughs> like, in my opinion, Joe, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, if you're, if you're unfamiliar with Bootleg Drew, one, how dare you? He's <laughs> he's on the Legs Plays a lot. I have a Let's Play channel called Legs, Legs Play. Play uh... <laughs> yeah, check that out if you're interested. It's in the sidebar, probably in the description, too, oh, or whatever. Oh, there. Yeah. Cataroost. Hmm. I like Cluckle. That was a better name. Cluckle. That was the, the original translation. They're like, nah, Cataroost. Mm. You have all the Chinese Zodiac they have on there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Bootleg Drew, mostly known for his uh, Magic the Gathering. You're much more of a magic guy. Yeah, but you know, I do enjoy watching these Yu-Gi-Oh plays. They're interesting. They, they happen from time to time. <laughs> it's like the lore and magic, awesome. There's all the story and yeah. everything. Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't really have that. But it makes up for that by having like just diversity of all the crazy things you could I ever want. Say, the art diversity is very nice. Just like you go like, Oh, this is, we have, like, anthropomorphic animals with oversized metal fists. They all have oversized metal, metal fists. fists. And then it's like, oh, and then you also have German operatic gunslingers. <laughs> oh, hey, there's Borbro, as oh, I call him. <laughs> Borbro. Supposed to be Borbo, but it's bro, you know. Borbro. Yep. And he's like, what, are you going to attack me? You're going to attack me, bro? Come at, yeah, he's attacking directly. And then I should be able to just be like... Nah, dog. Nah, dog. Ain't going out that way. Zero attack. And then he's gonna be like, "Oh, did you do a thing? If you did a thing, then I'm gonna get a thing." Neat. And then you're just gonna blow it up next turn. Yeah. I see this. I see your play. I mean, I don't even have to blow it up next turn. I could blow it up right this second. Oh, god. Just blow him up. Oh. And then oh. you know that thing that just negated his effect. Let's yeah. just get that back. <laughs> The utter savagery. <laughs> the sa absolute savage. See, that's the one thing about this that makes it a little more powerful than a blue deck in a sense is that some blue decks, it's quoting some, quote me some. on that, don't have the same recycle power as far as like once you use a counter spell, it's in the graveyard most of the time, and then like you can recycle the whole deck, but you usually can't pick and choose which one you want to get back yeah. in the graveyard like that. But it's real neat. In 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 a. Uh... In magic, obviously, yeah. you have the whole the whole mana system too. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I am going to because he had that mirror force earlier, right? So I want to make sure I'm going to go ahead and activate this here, even though it doesn't do anything right now. It just stops me from being destroyed by card effects. Uh. So if he has a if he has a mirror force, it won't be able to work on me. Right. And also, just to be safe, I'm going to get back that thing that lets me negate spell traps. That's got Wild Bill Hick Hickok on here. Oh, yeah. With, like, way too many, many guns, guns. Like, huge, big gunmen doing <laughs> gun things with gun hands. All the gun hands. All the gun hands. What would you gotta do? Okay. I think you're just gonna take it, mate. Yep, I... I can't kill him, though. That's the one thing, the one weakness these have is, like, this guy has the most attack out of any of them, and he's, like, a one-of, because his effect is, like, if you activate something in his column, you can shuffle three muskets into the deck and draw a card, which is nice, but normally you just want to recycle them with these two. You don't want to be, like, putting them back into the deck. Right, so he's the closest equivalent to, like, a beater you guys have. Yeah. 
for the most. They do have a bigger beater, but summoning him. Challenge. Not a challenge, but actually, I could do it right now. Now that they let's go ahead. So Max, Max, if he's got monsters, I can get spells equal to the monsters. Right. If he's got spells, I can get monsters equal to the spells. Huh. So he's got two spells. Which means I can go ahead and summon Zasalamel and another doc that I just used. Ah, oh, um, I was wondering why I used the doctor. He was kind of pivotal. Yeah, well, this is continuous, so oh, okay. I can't get it. And then Zasalamel. Zas oh, Zasalamel. Yeah, the cool. Satan. He's got 2,500. Normally, you don't play him, but you could summon him straight out of the deck with Max, so why not? And then right. I'll use these two and make a thing that gives all light monsters 500 attack. Neat. So he's 3,000. So this guy. Most again, most people don't play him because you got to tribute summon him most right. of the time or summon him with something else. All he is is a big beat stick. Except during your the end of your opponent's turn, for every magical musket bullet you activated, draw a card. What is he doing? Um, he's using this, which is like destroy a card, and then search a card. And then when this is destroyed, he'll destroy one of my monsters. But I have so many. And can't they not be destroyed? Yeah, that too. Good point. I'm glad <laughs> remembering that. Because I don't think he did. Yep, he's gonna... He could destroy this. Oh, yeah. This is not a musketeer. Nope. He's gonna try yeah, to like, activate it. Yeah, whatever, bro. That just came up like, remember yeah. me? <laughs> yeah, remember me? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, headshot. I don't like watching this <laughs> execution. <laughs> It's just, it's a gun execution, it's just... It's a literal firing <laughs> it's squad. It's just like, yeah, well, you know what, you can't, sir. Boom! Headshot! Yeah. <laughs> and then this guy's like, oh, did you activate one? Okay, well, you can draw a free one. Nice! And then you just get, yeah. So <laughs> when you win, it's like, yeah, I just got everything and you've got nothing. I'm surprised he stayed as long as he did, I gotta yeah. give it to him. But there you go, there's an actual deck of what it's supposed to do. Will we see one where I lose? I kind of want to show this deck's weaknesses, but at the same time, I also want to win a lot, so I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Ada! As, that's a Resident Evil 2 reference. Ah, okay. Although he spelled it wrong, but it's still... Uh, he spelled it wrong, but it's still Ada Wong. Uh. Okay, will he surrender this time? Ties of the Brethren, go! He's waiting. Ash Blossom. Oh, my heart. Um, I've got another one, though. <laughs> I just happen to have a second one, and he can't negate both of them. Well. So let's get this and this. No, this is only once per turn. If he has okay. two of them, he can't activate the other one. Okay, I was just about to say, well, no, he could, he could potentially. And then we got Upstart Goblin. Your opponent gains a thousand life points to draw a card. Hey. Hey. Fuck. <laughs> well, I still get to search, but I'm in danger. <laughs> um, let's get one of these. This guy's all hand traps. He's like discount hand trap warehouse up in here. Okay, so he's dead. I've got one monster negate to hopefully do a thing. And now he's drawing cards. All right, you do you, bro. That's a nice, like nice little mechanic. Oh, no, I can't allow you to search. Eh. You negated. Fuck. Well, I'll just reevaluate my life then. Well, he did hope for a loss. He comes back. And now he gets the search anyway, because it wasn't on the field, and this has to target it on the field. So now he gets light stage, and oh boy. Okay, but I can discard one, draw two. Unless he has another Ash Blossom. Son? Son? D please? Please. I have a family. Okay. Well. Okay, so I got my draw. The problem is, it I didn't sucks. draw anything useful. <laughs> Rit. For the most part. Not against these, anyway. Although, I'm not sure what these... Super Poly! He could fuse with uh, my monsters as well as his monsters. Rip. And you can't respond to it. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's just a question of what is he making. 
Well, super eyes, galaxy, nova, nope. burst, swamp, dragon. Nope, just mud dragon of the swamp. <laughs> mud dragon of the swamp. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Look at him. He's just yeah. The, he's just going out there like ah. Wow. Yeah. The the thing about him is he's just any two monsters with the same attribute but different types. Mm. So he's a prime target for super polymerization because it's like, well, I have light monsters and he has light monsters. Like fuck, baby. You wanna go? You wanna go get a pizza? You wanna go get a pizza? <laughs> Maybe make a mud dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I took that. D D Drew. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh. Reincarnation. Oh well, that wasn't too bad. He banished my hand. This would have been good. Starfire. She's not the Teen Titan, but she's still mm. pretty good. Oh, okay. She's if you activate something in her column, you summon another musket from the deck. Oh, nice. So I can get to Casper and then do stuff. Um, but it's fine. I still have Kid Brave. He's he's a brave kid. He's shooter the kid. He's shooter the kid. Um, Billy, yeah, like Billy the kid. Yeah. Activate this here. Activate his effect. Discard that. Draw two cards. And I'm gonna blow your spell trap up, because I don't want you to be performing no Japanese otaku over here. Um... And then, yeah, then we'll make Max. Why not? Give me a thing. It's only searching one thing, but one thing is still more than zero things. And also, I've got this guy, which is like the best one. He's right. the one you really want. The bloody crown. The bloody crown. A lot of people aren't using this. When I looked at, like, a bunch of other decks, they're like, eh, it's not really worth it. I'm like, this, the fact that you can search it makes it, like, instantly worth it. it IMO. Because um, then it's like, whatever you get, you could just, if you got something else in your hand, you're good. You're just searching all these things. Just give me another blow em up Oh, you can only do spells? You were going to search the doctor? Um, I couldn't, I, I could get it out next time. Okay. But got I don't it. have... Right now, I just need to worry on it. I can't kill him this turn, so I need to have enough stuff to be able to stop right. him next turn. So we'll just hit him for 2,000. And then next turn, we'll get the doctor. What did he just do? This, he can summon something. Mm. But I'm going to be like, nah, dog, I ain't going out that way. This is like, banish something from the graveyard and negate not only its effects but the effects of all monsters with the same name until the end of my opponent's turn. Ooh. So this is like key playmaker for him, and now he, he doesn't have access to it. Neat. Very neat. Very nice. Very spicy. Spice out of ten. What are you doing here? Russians? In my election? They've meddled before, and now they're meddling again. I don't know if she's actually Russian, but, I mean, look at that hat. Alright, that's not Russian. That's that's uh, you mixed it up. That's, yeah, that's my bad. That's, that's, uh, that's the chair song. That's my yeah, bad. Yeah, it's the the I Jewish song. I apologize. Yes, it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna be like, okay, how could you? No, get out of here. And he's gonna try to use that, and he forgets that it's been banished. It's like preemptive boom headshot. Get the fuck out of here. Preemptive headshot. <laughs> preemptive headshot. Boom headshot. All right, there we go. Now will that stop the other one from attacking you? It won't stop him from attacking, but Oh, all right. It it'll turn his zero. attack to 0, so Yeah, then it'll destroy it, yeah. Yep. He's got the little headshot guy on him. Boom headshot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> You're Finger dead. Guns. Finger guns. <laughs> oh, hey, my favorite. I got another one of these. Cool. Um, so, yeah, he's got, like, one... I could turn... Yeah, at this point, there's not much I could do. I just need to hope I can draw... An... If I can draw any other monster, then, like, I could summon it with this. Like, summon Max. Mm -hmm. Because he has a spell trap, I summon the doctor from the right. deck. And then it's just like, well, he might as well just go sell his house, try to find, like, <laughs> someone in the market who has something like that, you know, then maybe you could do something. Wow. That's a weird description. But yes. Right. <laughs> weird flex, but okay. 
How many times must I teach you this lesson, lesson old man? man? Or young girl? Young girl. Solemn Johnson! Solemn Johnson. <laughs> He's so solemn. Well, <laughs> I mean, it cost him half his life points, but this I guess it was like worth it. Weird game. Yeah, very much so. And I got this thing that doesn't help me at the moment. Okay, it's anybody's game. Set. Your turn, holy man. What oh, no, will I think do? You have eight turn, don't you? No, we're on the eighth turn. No, I'm saying you have like a turn before you can do a thing. Because um, you, you take damage directly. Oh no, I just heard that. Okay. Yeah. So I'd say you're taking sixteen hundred out of your two thousand. It's not uh, not not ideal. Ouch. Uh, f yuck. <laughs> Yep, I lose this one. Sadly. Fucking Solemn Johnson, my one arch nemesis. It's like, because the, the, the thing was negated, I couldn't search again, because it hadn't actually technically uh. activated. And yeah, this is only 16... Oh, wait, no, I'll have one turn. I get one more draw. Okay, now I'm dead. <laughs> Because I got all bullets and no guns. Well, you could still destroy his creature, right? No. I, I can't activate this unless I have a musket. Ah. Uh, that's the that's the, the big sticking point. Yes, 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 yes. But I can be like, well, Yeah, well, I banish your shit. Have a fun day in hell. Fucking stop. Oh, well. At least it was a good duel. It was a yeah, good back and really forth. Some duel, stuff was yeah. happening. You know. Go ahead and mark that down as a loss. He didn't even have to attack. This girl's like, you take 200 every time you draw a card. You just end his turn and be like, draw your last pathetic card, card Kaiba. Yugi. you wouldn't be able to actually draw a thing. Yeah, I would. I would just kill me. Yeah. Yep. So that's the thing. You need the recovery. Unfortunately, that's that's one of the, the sad things. Is like Your recovery card kind of relies on you having monsters and mm. them having stuff and doing things. That's fine, though. At least we got one. Let's go ahead. What will it be? The fifth duel? Fifth duel. Fifth duel. Dead ahead. <laughs> All right. Fifth duel versus Aldi's? Aldi's. Are, are we going up against a German uh, supermarket? Scissors? Aha! You magnificent bastard. I read your book. Um, okay. All muskets. One musket. One bullet. All right. Casper Pass. Be afraid, be very afraid. <laughs> and yeah, you don't, that's the that's the downside of, you run one of these, because you could summon it off of max, and then right. it's just like, now I can end the game instantly. But now. But, you know, now it's in my hand, and useless. Oof. And he set things in my column. Right. Which makes me believe he doesn't understand this exactly. Okay, um, 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 um oh. That changed some of your decision? No, we're good. We got this guy. Shooter the Kid. Or as they call him in America, Kid Brave. Kid Brave. He's such a brave kid. He's such a brave kid, Robin Banks. Yeah. Um, Let's get some more... I don't really have a lot of spell traps, but let's... Yeah, let's just summon... You know what? I've got all the stuff. It's like I could get two monsters, or I could get one spell trap. Part of me wants to just... But I can't get this guy. Uh, I'd say get a spell trap. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll play it somewhat safe. We've got the thing that negates his spells anyway, so... You can be like... Uh, okay. Go for it. Turns out, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because I can get this. Das is neat. Das is neat. <sighs> Activate effect now? Hell yeah. Let's just get Zasimel up here. Yo, what's up, fuckers? <laughs> I got two huge guns. I can't even lift them. Look at my arms. Those are tired. Jeez. Um, ninjas. No, samurai. Six samurai, but they're the shadowy six samurai, which, which are, the ninjas. are essentially ninjas. Yeah. He must have had a really bad hand to not do anything. That's the deck that's normally like, yeah, I'm going to summon like a million things. Um, we can add one six samurai with a different attribute from your deck to your hand. And I guess this is happening during damage calculation, so I can't do anything about that. 
Um, please go to zero. Give me a thing. Most notably, a boom. <laughs> Big boom. Um, you fuck him up. This guy, once he's summoned, he's pretty much like useless. Right. Like he has a thousand attack. Uh, the only good thing about him is he has the same the the standard magical musket effect where it's right. like, you know, you can you can use stuff from your hand. So it, your hand traps aren't dead with him. Right. But past that, it's like, yeah, he's just kind of a liability. Mm. Oh God, Gateway of the Six. Fuck no. Hell no. Get the fuck away from here. Hell no, Batman. Boom, headshot. This thing was banned for a while and for good reason. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We did it. Another win. Each time a six samurai is summoned, place two Bushido counters on here. Ooh. Bushido! And you can remove four of them to add a six samurai from your deck to your graveyard, and six to summon a Shien monster out of your graveyard. Oh. And the thing is, like, not once per turn. Oh. And the six samurai, there's a whole bunch of them that are like, if you have a samurai, summon a samurai. Did you summon a samurai? Summon another samurai. So they'll summon, like, five monsters and get, like, 12 tokens and then search three and then, like, make a synchro monster, and then summon three more monsters, and get four more tokens, and search three. And it's like, yeah, would the six samurai player please end their turn? <laughs> <laughs> the other players are getting tired and hungry. <laughs> Some of us have kids at home. Don't lie. Some of us have computers at home. <laughs> we want to get on them. But yeah. Uh, another win? Yes. Another win, yeah. Six duel. Oh. Hey, how you doing, folks? I don't, I don't, what are we doing? What are we doing? I don't know, I don't know what, what's happening. I'm scared. Help me. <laughs> well, you see, we're in the halfway point. Halfway between the duels, I like to take a moment and just sort of remind people, be like, hey, I have a Patreon. This, this channel's funded mostly by the Patreon. So if you like what we're doing here, if you like the fact that it's like one ad every half an hour, Maybe consider checking that out. One dollar gets you on the Discord. Upwards of one dollar gets you more things. Perhaps you liked those sleeves. You can get some cool stuff. And Bootleg Drew shows up there from time to time. I do. I have. I have. I'm on this. I'm on the streams. People can Q and A me whenever they want. But how often do you get to ask Bootleg Drew questions? You don't often. And if, if those of you out there who are into magic, you've got questions. He's got answers. I do. Yeah. So I'm selling you for the Patreon. I hope you don't mind. I do not mind, gun sir. Oh, see, this is why he's on the show. <laughs> Such a nice guy. But yeah, enough about that. Let's jump right back into it. Puppy vision. Oh no, that's not <laughs> puppy vision. I got excited. It's perp division. The division of purple influences, I've got to assume. Oh. Not like the division of teal we've got over here. <laughs> Yeah, we had. I, I made a non-teal version that's over there, but I had yeah. the I had the patrons vote, and they voted for teal. It does have a word of ominousness to it. Okay, so I've got a couple different things I can do. I think what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we've got we got Starfire. Mm -hmm. We don't have Raven, but we have this. This is my spicy tech of the week, by the way. A lot of people were like, "Why are you playing this?" I'm like, "Exactly for this reason." Archfiend eccentric. Yep. Um, because you could just activate it first turn, and, like, I've still got this resource next turn to do stuff with. It's pretty nice. I can blow it up and blow up a spell trap. And I activated it. Although I just realized I forgot... This has many uses, because not only, again, spell trap removal can trigger their things, monster removal if need be. Right. But it's more... Most importantly, it's a level 3 light fiend. And fiends are traditionally dark attribute. Right. But all the magical muskets are light fiends. What did you just play? A uh, scrap recycler. Okay, so he's doing robot. Things. And I'm I'm not letting him recycle. No, go away, stop it. Boom, headshot. Get some help. <laughs> Get some help. He says as he reloads his gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't allow you to be doing that. But yeah, so this ties of the brethren. That's like target a monster that has the same type, level, and attribute. This thing oh, just happens to share yeah, it. Okay. Uh oh, monster gate. I warned you about this. <laughs> Um, which is why I'm putting an end to it right now. Last stand. Boom! Headshot. <laughs> no gates for you. He's gonna get you, son. <laughs> you think you've been gated and you've been gated. Um, okay, he left nothing so I can blow up. He's left nothing there. Um, ties of the brethren. <laughs> 
You don't want to use it on her because she's level four, and the level yeah. four ones aren't as good. Interesting. But yeah, you can in a pinch if you open with just her and right. ties, you can get uh, All Doc and boys. Casper. Oh, okay. Not this one, but he's the least important one. Right. Um, and he surrendered as he probably should have <laughs> because I stopped. Yeah, that's a lot of times with this deck. He's like two plays. No, let me summon all the things. Granted, you can't attack the turn you use this. Mm -hmm. You can't special summon any more monsters the turn you use this. Right. So this is not really useful unless the monsters that you summon are, like, good on the field. Right. So this is, like, one of the few decks that this is, like, amazing in. Everything else, it's like, no, I'm not going to pay 2,000, not special summon, give up my battle phase to get two level four or lower monsters right. on the field. No. But, yeah, this at this point, it's just like, begin the ride. Begin the ride. Begin the go. ride. Yep. Seventh Seven. duel. Lucky number seven? Lucky number seven. Or no, the fighting seventh. Oh, the fighting seventh. That's even better. Rah, rah, and all that jazz. Solo, lo. Solo, lo. I was going to be like, Ruby, 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 Soho. But I, this is not Soho. It's so o. So. <laughs> Sauhu. Oh, hey, look. It's that thing that makes me do the things. And then the thing. You think he'll cool. surrender? We'll find out. Yeah, this is like the nuts. Pretty much for this deck. <laughs> the nuts. The nuts is ties of the brethren with any level three. You get that? It's just like well there, you, and then away you go. Um, and you're gonna get the um, yeah, monster removal. There's a chance he has like Raigeki Dark Hole and he blows right. up the field, and, and then, then I'm wanted, sad. Yeah, then you wanted the one thing. But there's a lot of decks that like don't even play monsters, or don't even play oh, spell traps. That was interesting. Pot of Desire. Yeah, that's that's one of the really fun Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, he looks. Banish ten from the top of your deck, face down. Draw two. So oh, it's that's just the like we were talking about, where it's like. <laughs> Neat. Another win! That wasn't much of a fighting seventh at all. <laughs> he didn't draw what he wanted. Or he banished, like... That's the, it's such a gamble card, but I love it. <laughs> it's like, on the one hand, I have more resources, but there's nothing worse than, like, oh, yeah, I got my searcher, play it. And then, like, nothing happens, and you're like, I banished all my targets, didn't yeah, I? <laughs> I banished all my targets, didn't I? I have three copies of each, and I banished all six of them. Just happened to. Oof. <laughs> oof. Big oof. I'm, I'm curious... With, uh, because draw power, it's it's powerful in magic, but it's not like the the end all be all. Right, it's not Yu Gi Oh! where it's the resource. Yeah. So I'm curious, like, would a card like this that was generic, where it was like, pay one mana, banish 10 from the top, exile 10 from the top right. of your deck, draw two, would that be broken? Or would that be like, eh, maybe It'd a blue be, might uh, use it? A blue deck might use it, but like, the, the fact that you'd be banishing 10 without, n or exiling 10 without knowing what they are, yeah. is too gambly for a blue <laughs> player. But like, an is it player, a blue red player might do it just for fun, because there's a few, a few cards that can work off of that, but like, very few, not enough to make a deck out of. Yeah, because hand, hand advantage isn't as important. Yeah, no. I guess it'd have to be like, Banish, exile five, draw five. Yeah. Maybe that might be good. Exactly. Or exile like, three, draw yeah, three. Yeah, you'd have to like, do it very small numbers. It wouldn't be like exile ten, because I'm like, even in Commander, I'm like... You oh, have like a hundred yeah, cards. Yeah, but I'm like, oh, that's a tenth of my deck right yeah. there. <laughs> and granted, also in Commander, you play a whole bunch of one-ofs. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, you don't want to lose those. Exactly. I'm just like, oh, there's that one card that makes my whole deck worth it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people play that that in this deck just mm. because um it's like you know if you get casper doc and just one of these and one of the things that destroys you're usually good right it doesn't matter if you banish the other 10 things or whatever right but, but i play a whole bunch of one ofs and i'm like nah i don't want to go that nah, way dog, not going out that Plus, way. this is relatively budget i don't know we've been here a long let's go next duel yeah. <laughs> the one eevee there's only one apparently uh. Who knew? I Who like knew Eevee. such things were doing? Oh, no. Oh, I lost the I lost the, the rock, paper, scissors. Do I get to go first? I hope not. Good. Going first with this hand? Not great. I mean, we've got... Mo I'm surprised we haven't had a hand yet. You've got those ones where it's like, all musketeers, all bullets. Oh, he's doing cyber stuff. This is like the epitome of Link summoning shenanigans. This is everything that old players are afraid of. No. <laughs> Where they're like, I don't understand these Link monsters. Which is really, it's really weird. I've been getting a lot of comments lately. Um, 
Not a ton, but I've, I've also been hearing a lot of other YugiTubers saying they're getting comments. Right. Like, I'll go to a stream and there's people like, Yeah, I'm just getting into this game. How does Link Summoning work? And it's weird to think that, like, it's been out for two years right. now. Like, what's suddenly attracting people right, back? And then they're just like, how does all this stuff work? It's like, I'm going to have to make a tutorial or something to yeah. explain two-year-old mechanics. <laughs> Dang. But hey, it might get some stuff. Cyanet Codec. To be honest, I've seen this card like a million times and I've never read it. Cybers, they're really one of those, they, they just, they link climb. They do things, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, you know what, you do you, I'm gonna go get a sandwich. <laughs> I'll be back when you're done. That reminds me of that one video you showed me, where, like, making fun of Magic the Gathering infinite turn structures, yeah. and he's like, I'm gonna go get a sandwich. Okay, that'll be just enough time for me to go to the cheese tasting phase. phase. Yeah. yeah, I'm just like, that's so accurate, it hurts. <laughs> He's just like, I do this, and then I do this, and then I do this. He's like, okay, you win. Yeah. Aha, but not so fast. <laughs> this allows me to tap it three times, and now that it's done a tap somersault, I can add three more tokens from my deck. <laughs> That's still my favorite non-magical but magic term. Yeah. Like, I've done a tap yeah, somersault because I've tapped it so many times. And I'm just like, That's, <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get it. so true. <laughs> so funny. Ugh. Uh. Okay, so while this is co-linked, it and co-linked monsters gain 500. You know, you remember what co-linked means? It means it's in the same space where the red arrow is. It means they, they both got arrows and they point to each other. Oh. So this guy points down and that guy points up. That's co-linked. Oh. If it's just on an arrow, it's just linked. Very important. Some people get confused are about we, that. Are we going to make him big sad, though, next turn? Um, I don't know. It depends, because it's... Um, your opponent cannot target any of them with card effects. Hmm. And I kind of need to target them with card effects to what do stuff. What about that black hole thing? This thing? Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, that, that destroys spell traps. Oh, awkward. Yeah, that's Mystical Space Typhoon. An equally old card that destroys things, but not Dark Hole. Dark Hole um, would be neat right now. Kind of. The problem with this is, like, if I Dark Hole my... Usually that's, like, Normal Summon one monster. Well, couldn't you Dark Hole first, then Normal Summon? Yes, but then it's like I wouldn't get the, the benefit of having the Musketeer on there. Gotcha. Well, I mean, you'd have the benefit of them all surviving. That too. Well, let's say, uh, this is Link Summoned, yada yada yada. Um, those zones can be used. Monsters this card points to gains 500 attack. Okay, so that's why this guy is such a big chungus. Um, special also, Summon one. cannot be destroyed by card effects is what it says. Also, okay. So yeah, Dark Hole wouldn't kill this thing. Okay. It would kill the others. This guy says everything pointing to each other can't be targeted. Mm. And this guy says just this guy can't be destroyed. Ah. So really what I need is by card effects. So I need to be able to beat over this by battle somehow. I don't think I'm able to do that, mate. Well, see, the thing about the, the code talkers, they can put up a big field of things that are, like, difficult to get rid of. Right. But they're not known for stopping people. And so the thing that we might get is if he summons like four monsters, then I should be able to make max and then like search four. Unless he's about to do the link you thing. The extra link, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Is this pointing? I'm. It, yeah, it's, it's weird because you see the arrows and then you're like, okay, yeah, but if I turn it, and it's pointing. Yeah, okay. You might, you might link you out. He needs to. He needs to be able to summon something else. Let's see, at the start of your battle phase, you can activate this effect. This card can attack your opponent's monsters equal to the number of monsters it points to plus one. Also, for the rest of this turn, if your opponent controls exactly one monster and this card battles that monster, this card loses 400 attack? That's weird. At the end of the battle phase, you can draw cards equal to the number of monsters this card destroyed by battle this turn. Oh. So that's neat. So it could potentially... It, it can attack as many times as it points to, so it could potentially point to three things, right. attack three times, and then draw three cards. Ah. Although the last monster, you lose 400. Hey, I'm not you linked I'm just J-linked. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Okay. All right, okay. And yeah, none of his stuff is quick effects, so I can put this here. Bang. Give me that chocolate. <laughs> um, summon Casper. You already have a Casper. Yeah, but now I got two. If I just summoned him, I'd have yeah. one monster. Yeah, I got two. And then... Maximum Overdrive! 
Give me a bunch of things, please. Oh, let's see here. I definitely need one of these. I need... It's only spell traps. Fuck. Um, I need one of these. Uh, one of... These. And let's go ahead and get one of... <laughs> uh, fuck, what else do I need? I've got one of everything, don't I? Oh, I'll take that. Why not? <laughs> I just love seeing that, like, my hand is so big, it glows with an awesome power, it tells me to defeat you. Um, all right. Thinking, thinking, processing. Look at this puny hand. Um, look at this puny hand, it's so <laughs> tiny compared to mine. You can't do anything with it, possibly. <laughs> um, put that there. Activate effect now, yes. He's waiting. So, okay, summon Doctor. Doctor has 14. Um. Yeah, I think I might have to wait till next time and just hope he can't kill me, although this thing's going to be able to attack many times. Um. What is this? Double its... Original attack. Okay. So I can still kill... I can kill this thing. Okay. That's what I need to do. Um, do I have anything in my graveyard to get back? No. Um. Not unless you use one of the things. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn Casper and this guy into this. Okay. So that's gonna give him even more attack. Right. Although some of these are light. That one's light. Okay. Right. Um. Activate. Double his attack. I think it's double its original. Yeah, it's double its original regardless. But the point is I can get over that. There we go. Bada bingo. Bada fuck you. So that's gone. He's not going to be able to draw a bunch. He's still got big chunguses that I can't get over. He's going to beat you into a pulp here. Yeah, he might. <laughs> he might, rabbit. He might. <laughs> uh... Okay, we're going to go ahead and activate this. Dancing Needle. Banish three cards from the graveyard. Um, This card is banished. Okay, I don't want to do that because it gets effects when it's banished. You know what? Let's just banish his Link Monsters. I don't want him to have access to those. And this guy. I assume it's useful. And then give me... Double back. That's where the negation comes from. Okay, I've got uh, six cards. Okay, we're good. I think there's enough points just to kill you by combat. No, don't worry. I'm I, I'm I'm cooking something up. All right. I'm like a meth cooker, but much more intelligent. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta know your chemistry pretty well to make some good meth. I know. That's why I'm even more intelligent. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Most people don't know. They don't understand. All right. Uh, code radiator. Okay, if you would link summon a code talker, you can use this. Okay. I need to wait for him to, like, end his turn. Or end his main phase. This I can only use in the main phase, and I need to make sure I do that. Otherwise, I'm going to die. As you said. He made another one. Now he's got two 3300s. <laughs> All right. Target one face-up monster. Oh, it turns them to zero. Well, fuck. I think... What did this say? You can target monsters, change the attack, also negate its effects. Okay. That's sad. I think we lose here. No. I've still got something I can do. We take a lot of damage here, yeah. but I don't think we lose. Oh, jeez, all the zones. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and activate this before anything else happens. Big boy. I don't think he can get over big boy. He's going to get over these two, and it's going to be sad, right. but I have big boy. That's the important part. He's got so many goddamn guns. Big attack boost. Big if true! 5,000! <laughs> Jesus. Take your medicine! 
And I was like, that's my only hope. It's like, I get this guy. He can attack over them if I use the Never Endorphin. Um, Could you make him both zero? Yeah, I can. Because now I can target them. But right. I kind of want this to die. Okay. I've kind of grown tired of living. Well, plus when this is dead, I can get a monster back. Uh, so I can get back my Starfire. Gotcha. Plus two zero attack monsters crashing into each other don't hurt each other. Ah. Uh. Um, can't be destroyed. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to take the damage because they can't be destroyed by card effects and I don't care. And I need that space because this guy is the better guy to have. Okay. Um, draw cards equal to the number I've activated? Yes. That should be one, right? Yay. <laughs> one whole card! My favorite! Um, so first of all, you, and then, you know... Uh, which one? This was the newest one he did. Yeah. This one's the one that's blocking off all my zones. So fuck you. First of all. Um, let's go ahead. Doctor, yes. Doctor, doctor. Give me the news, I got a oh. bad case of loving you! Hey, we won. <laughs> yeah. It's, I love it because, again, this... A lot of people didn't want me to play this deck... Not only because it was like really good, good to the point of being mean, but also because they 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 don't feel like there's much you can do as far as build wise. Right. But like these two, most decks don't play these two, and it's only because of these two that, that you I just won. won. Yeah. So it's like I really like that. Like people think this is useless. So like no, being able to just summon something out in the battle phase, especially a big boy like this, and then yeah. do things, and especially here, like if I didn't have this, then. Normal summon, that's all I get. Now I can get Doctor, or I could get her, and then right. use her to summon Doctor, and then have a whole board full of shit, and he's dead, <laughs> and I'm the one who wins! <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Eevee. Okay. I'm happy. <laughs> Icon, 999, or is it Econ? I think it's... No, it's Icon. Icon? 999. 9999, all right. Um... Magical musket? Pass. <laughs> Could there be anything more frightening? You got you got a response? Does he got a response? He it says he's response. waiting. Is he gonna solemn you? No, he can't do that here. Not now. We're on holy ground. We're on the holy ground. We can't fight. This is holy ground. What was it? Didn't they do that in Zoolander and they yeah. were at like a barber? Where were yeah, they? Yeah, they were at like a barber shop. Yeah. Um, let's see. Send like, the top three cards, add a light sword from your deck to your hand. Uh, no. Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? It's fine. I was like, oh, he activated it in my column. I'm, I'm good. Um, Casper. Need him. I'm not sure if he's going to activate any other spell. Yeah, actually, that's probably the right thing to do. A lot of Light Sworn decks are really monster heavy. Uh, so I activate, but it's like I would have gotten the effect because he activated it in the middle column gotcha. for some reason. Probably because he forgot. Another one. Um, so he still gets his search anyway. Right. And then Wolf got milled. Light Sworns are like the easiest, easiest deck for. If, if, if you're a newcomer and you don't know anything about the extra deck, I always recommend Light Sworns. Uh, because they're all, all their cards are just like, mill some cards. This card can't be normal summoned, but if it's milled, summon it. Gotcha. Mill three cards. Search a light sword. Light swords mill two cards. Discard one card. Summon a level three or lower light sword in your graveyard. During the end, mill three cards. They self mill, and then they've got a big dragon called Judgment Dragon, who you can only summon if you've got four light swords with different names in the graveyard. Neat. And his effect is like, oh. pay a thousand, nuke the board. Not once per turn. Oh. So if you nuke it and they have a thing that, like, couldn't be destroyed that turn, you could just nuke it again! That's pretty neat. Um. Yo, what's up? Zero. Search. Blop. <laughs> Blop. <laughs> Let me just get a rocket. Yep, the attack was already declared. Can't go back now. This is Chinatown. Or what, what's that quote? It's Chinatown, Jake. There's nothing you could do. Yeah. Have you ever um, seen that movie? Big Chinatown? Big, big, big Trouble, Trouble in Little, Little China. China. Yeah. I've always heard it was really good. Yeah, it I, is. I really like the other stuff that guy's made. Yeah, it's fun. He's the Halloween guy, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty nice. We haven't seen the girl on this card yet, Calamity. Yeah, I haven't seen her either. Yeah, I only play one of her. I only play one of Bill, too, though, but Bill's here all the time. Bill's, like, hanging out, like, yo, what's up? <laughs> yo, what's up? Bill Wilde here yo, what's on up? MTV's <laughs> Real World. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm Bill. I'm wild. Bill Wild. <laughs> the wildest Bill you ever done so do seen. Do we want to just kill our other Light Sworn, or do we want to kill the Dark? Oh, we're, we're, we can kill all of it. Oh, okay. We can kill everything. We're not even going to use this, most likely. Oh, I was going to. I was just curious. If yeah. We're use the rocket launcher. Did rocket launch? No, not on this. Hmm. His stuff's too weak. Not on. Not on this garbage. Not against this pathetic. Weak. So now, if you have these two here, oh. and you activate one there... Well, he doesn't have effect when you activate uh, something in his okay. zone. I was just going to search a bunch of stuff. Now you're not. Now I can't, now I can't search a bunch of stuff. Um, <sighs> yep, we're just going to be like, eh. And hope he doesn't have honest. Probably not, but he might. Honest hand trap. Big angel, so right. glorious looking. A white card, if ever I saw one. Honestly? But, honestly. <laughs> but it's a, if your opponent attacks a light monster, or if a light monster attacks, you can discard Honest, and your monster gains attack equal to their attack. Oh, that's awesome. So it's just, you always win. Honest just is pump a it very up. white card. Yeah. Ho, 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 Bunch of garbage. Hey, he's getting milled honest. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Ho ho! <laughs> Just like art wise, like, yeah, yeah that's a white card. Yeah. Big holy angel glowing See? and shit. Yeah, glowing and shit. You're about to, like, just, I bless you with the power of winning. <laughs> I bless you with the rains. Yeah. Down in Africa, even. <laughs> um, let's see. I think I can win just right here. Oh, really? Let's go ahead. Neat. I'm gonna banish this because I'm scared of it. Terrified. <laughs> I too can do things, sir. I too am terrified. Same exact card, even. Yeah, now he did banished her, so her effect. Okay. Yeah, smart. Her effects negated. I could try to do it, but then I'd be boomed headshot myself. Oh. And now I can. Well, I was gonna ha summon another Max yeah. and then summon the big boy. Right. But now I can't because he doesn't have anything. I can only summon monsters equal to the number of things he has. Uh, I think I still win, though. No, it's close. It's certainly close. What's he going to have left? Like, 200? 200. 200. Damn. Oof. I wonder. What's in a Wonder Ball? I have all these monsters here. No, no, I probably could... Okay, whatever. You could have turned it into the give him plus with the light guy. Yeah, that probably would have been... Well, I'd lose 2,000, gain 19, but then these go up. I don't know. Right. Also, he's light, too, so yeah. he's going to gain the... So it's just going to cancel out, yeah. and it's going to be like uh, nothing ever happened. Gotcha. You're just all full of light brigades, aren't you? Are you familiar with the actual charge of the light brigade? No. You never heard of that? Uh, I've not heard the tale of the <laughs> light brigade. It's a... Uh, it was, I forget what war, it was like the war in the Crimea, some war that, like, they don't teach you in schools, because uh, there's a bunch of European nations doing stuff. Right. And it was one of those, like, not quite World War One wars, where it's like, they had some of the technology, but not all of the, the technology. technology. Okay. But, like, what era was this? Um, I said right before World War One. Oh, wow, okay. And the whole thing was, like, they had, there was, like, it was a bunch of British soldiers... And they had, uh, the enemy had, like, fortifications with cannons and, like, right. mortars. Like, they had mortars. Um, we're gonna get this one. Right. Yeah. They had mortars and stuff, and the light brigade is, uh, cavalry. Right. And they cavalry charged the mortars. How'd that go for them? They lost almost everyone. I was about to and say. And it's one of those things, it's sort of like, remember, it was romanticized after it happened. And it's sort of this, this idea of, like, British propaganda over, almost, because it's like... They said it was like, oh, the Light Brigade, they knew it was a suicide mission, but they just tipped their caps and drank their tea and were like, well, boys, time to go. GG. Indeed, good sir, or madam, or other. <laughs> Whatever you are, good, good game. Or other. Or other. <laughs>
not quite Donkey Kong is yes, why not? <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was it was sort of romanticized at the time, but then after the fact it was like yeah, it turns out they weren't even ordered to do so. They like someone ordered them to charge something else. Oh. And like he mistakenly ordered them to charge something else, and then that person mistakenly ordered them to charge the light brigade, or to charge the turrets. Oh, wow. And so, like, they weren't supposed to charge at all, much less that, but it was just the idea that, like, they told them to go, and they're like, well, that's a suicide mission. And they're like, we'll do it, and they just <laughs> rode off. <laughs> charge of the light brigade! Men okay. on horseback with sabers against machine guns! <laughs> Seems like a winning pair to me. <laughs> they rode back and they're like, "Done. What? What? What next?" And they're like, "Why did you do that?" And they're like, "Well, he said." They're like, "Well, he said." He's like, "I didn't say." Like, I ah, didn't say anything. Well, shit. I want this animated. I want an animation of the light brigade coming back. What <laughs> happened? Well, shit, man. The bullets were flying. This guy said to go over there, and I was oh. like, "Tally ho!" And they said that, and I was well. I didn't... When I hear Tally Ho, usually I run, and I wasn't running, so I decided I might as well run. Exactly. Anyway, ready to Tally Ho yeah. into the 10th duel? Oh, hell yeah. Tally Ho! Tally Ho! Mamba, ooh, didn't mean to make you cry. If I'm not back again this time tomorrow, carry on, carry on. As if nothing really matters. Hello everyone, how are you doing this fine day? Did you enjoy that little song? I thought it was a nice little song. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, we've got all muskets and no bullets. But oh, we've the got... first time that happened, though. Yeah, well, we got this, which is oh. like... I mean, we could. So we have to set it. We can't right. just activate it from our hand. Um, and also, it depends on him having a monster in the graveyard, so if he does a bunch of stuff without putting monsters in the graveyard, we're fucked. We're fucked. I mean, he didn't do oh. anything, so we're not completely. Oh, neat. Um, target one face-up card on the field. All right. Oh, hey, there's Calamity. Oh, hey. Look at all there with her with her uh, leather bikini and her giant Ross space rocket launcher. Yeah, I'm about it. <laughs> yep. She summons something out of the graveyard, which is nice and all, but not doesn't she really help. After? Calamity Jane. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. And she's got like derringers. I don't know what she's all on about. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna go normal summon. Right. And we're gonna turn Starfire into Max. And we're gonna use Max to get something decent, actually. Uh, like this. Plus, she has 15. 15 higher than uh, 13. If it's oh, one I know my numbers. <laughs> if it's one thing I know, it's which number is bigger. Oh, now Gravekeepers! Um. Fuck you. Fuck you. Down to zero. Ah, oh, fuck, it's during the battle phase. Ooh, I fucked up. Oh, I made a big mistake. I what? goofed. During the battle phase, what? Uh, her effect doesn't activate. Oh. Uh, even though I activated something in her column. Which is what you want to do. Awkward. Awkward. It's fine, though. I think I should still be able to do things unless he, like, dark holes me right here. Nope. Um... Let's... <sighs> Let's get physical. physical. Okay, we're fine. I'll let it happen. I'll just let him do it and then do something. I could have stopped that, because if I can... You can banish the card right. in the graveyard and then negate its effect. Right. And he's like, Hey, act activate the thing. Stop not activating the thing. There we go. Necro Valley. You gotta watch out for that shit. That's like, cards in the graveyard can't be affected by other cards. Mm. And I need that because my cards are in the graveyard! Yes, quite. <laughs> well, fine then. Fuck you too, alright? This is like, target something in the graveyard and negate its effects. Nah. Eh. I was really hoping I could get her out and then use it and right. then do stuff, but no. Life isn't always fair, Joe. No, no it's not. Look at this guy. He wants me to smell his hand. I don't know where that hand's he's been. been. I don't know what Chinese food he's been cooking. Yeah. I don't know what sort of weird curry he's been stirring together with herbs and spices. He's no he's no Michelin man. Exactly. I don't trust him. He's yeah. not a big doughy tire thing. Yeah. 
I trust that tire. He looks like a marshmallow. I'd probably eat him. <laughs> Comment in the comments if you would eat the Michelin, Michelin man, man, assuming he's not made of rubber. <laughs> I mean, assuming he was edible. Yeah, you know. assuming, yeah, assuming many things. I mean, cut into him and he's just like bloody and gory and like, oh, and I'm imagining Saw but with the Michelin man. <laughs> but like, not played for laughs at all. Like, completely serious yeah, and all like, the gore. And, just like, oh! Or not Saw, what's worse than Saw? Hostile. Oh, Hostile yeah. with the Michelin man. Oh, jeez. Just like... <laughs> How could you not do it for laughs, though? You just get that. I mean, that's that's what makes it so funny. Yeah. Is that you play it completely yeah, straight. straight. Okay. It's like you cut into his rubbery belly, and it just like starts <laughs> spewing out oh, blood. Yeah. And he's like, "I have kids. I have kids." And it's like, I should feel existential dread about the loss of another life, but it's the Michelin <laughs> Man, so, so uh... it looks like he's filled with Kool Aid. Yeah. <laughs> Hostile with the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not no. go that far. Let's not go down this rabbit hole. No. I think he's I think he's done. I think he's done too, but he's taking a long time to do it. Yeah, some people when they when they're losing, they just yep. wait around. Well, 10th duel. Another win. You know, that wasn't very Let's try one more. Yep, for one more bonus duel. Let's do it. Bonus duel. <laughs> oh, it's a new ARG. What kind of spooky things you got going? ARG. Spookiness or cards? I think ARG, there's a, um, whatchamacallit. Also, this hand sucks. This hand of mine sucks with an awesome power. Yeah, there's a, uh, Altered Reality Games, that's mm. what it's called. Famously, uh, when Yu-Gi-Oh, they, they used to have a ban list that came out in regular intervals. Right. And then they're like, we don't want that, we want to, like, be able to... Because sometimes they'd fall, like, two days before a tournament or something. Uh -huh. They're like, we don't want to do that. We want to have it be whenever we think it needs it. Right. Uh, but then, like, for a year after that, they still pretty much put them out every three months. It just wasn't exactly. It was just uh -huh. like, oh, sometimes it'd be at the end of the month. Sometimes it'd be at the start of the fourth month or whatever. Right. And then they didn't have a ban list for, like, seven months. And ARG, who holds cash tournaments that aren't quite as big as the official Konami ones, right. but they're... They're still kind of big ones. They're like, fuck it, if Konami's not making a, their ban list, I'm going to make my own ban list. Ooh, Fossil Dino Pachycephalus foe. Pachycephalus? Whatever. Your opponent can't special summon. Oh, that's a problem. Really dangerous to most decks. This deck doesn't care. I don't give two shits about five fucks, Captain. <laughs> oh, he's setting a lot of cards there, Chief. He's setting all these cards. That sounds like prime maxing right there. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and be like, whatever this is, it's gone. Let me see what you got. Phantom Knight Swords. I see. Um. Activate. Blow it up. <laughs> whatever that is, it's gone. Oh no, not my effect. I needed that. Yeah, this is the guy who's like, you could banish three, or sh yeah. shuffle three magical muskets. Yeah. Of which I have none. Which is why you don't want him in your hand first turn. Um. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Alright, but you still take the damage. Haha! -ha! <laughs> but you still take the damage! Um... Yeah, we're good. For now. Ish. I mean, I don't think you can do anything. But yeah, a ARG, they made their own ban list. Right. And they're like, we're gonna be using this one. And that for, like, a short period, like a year, there was, like, they, they basically kept up with it, where they were like, yeah, there's an ARG list, and there's a non-ARG list. Well, fuck. What? Moon Mirror Shield. If the equipped monster battles, it gains attack equal to the monster it battles, or its attack becomes equal plus 100. So it just always wins. And it's on this thing. Um, and I'm not sure how this works. This'll be a weird thing. Um. Can I activate it in response? Get another card, yeah. Damage step? Or was it? Okay, one second. Um. During damage calculation. Okay, during. 
Yeah, I gotta see, because the thing is, if his goes after mine, then mm -hmm. it'll turn it to 100. Calculating damage, no. Okay. And now it's, yeah, it's too late. No matter what I did, he'd have 100 more than me. I don't think I have enough spell trap removal to get around this. <laughs> a sad state of affairs. Um, do I get a monster at least? Hey, I got a monster. Okay. What type is Max? Dark? Probably. Yeah, no, light, I mean. Fuck. Because this says you can only special summon water monsters. Uh, so my hope was, like, I had this. Right. I could get rid of this and then, uh, like, summon something and get a whole bunch of monsters on board. Right. But now he's got two things that are, like, no special summons. Mm. One of which is always going to be able to beat over me. So I'm going to... Well, actually, I guess it couldn't... Can't hurt, I can get some damage in. Unless he's going to Solemn Johnson me. Nope, okay. Take that. The pinnacle of being negated. Well, fuck. Activate the effect! Question mark? Oh, that was a bad idea. Well... I think we're fucked. I think we're fucked, ladies and gentlemen. 400. <laughs> Oof. Uh, I wanted an 11th duel. I wanted it yeah. to be exciting. And instead, we're going against a guy who's just like, shh, no summoning. I have a toad. <laughs> shh, quiet. Just now I imagine the scene from Family Guy where he's like, I did that favor for that park ranger. And he like stabs Yogi Bear. He's like, shh. <laughs> just go to sleep. Yeah. And then he's just like, tell the other bears what you just saw. <laughs> now he's got a wind statue, oh, barrier statues. So is he just playing barrier statues? I don't understand this deck. It, it, the whole thing is this is like you can only summon water. This is like you can only summon wind. If you have both of them out, I can't special summon. Uh. So they're keeping me out of max. And I didn't have, if I had the thing that like destroyed a monster, right. I could get rid of this. But now you're fucked. Yeah, the the fact that I started with Bill and the yeah. the high level monster. So that earlier time when I'm like, I won because of the high yeah. level monster. Now it's like I lose because, because of the, of the high, high level, level monster. monster. Is a trade off. Yep. Sometimes you gamble, sometimes you lose. I prefer the term a la mode. <laughs> so there you go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Magical musket <laughs> control. We went uh, nine and two after eleven duels. Not bad at all. Not bad. At Pretty all. much what I expected from this. Lots of surrenders. Again, as to be expected. I do a little bit more, but we've already been here for like an hour and a half. Even with the surrenders, it's kind of taken a little bit. But we have the replays. You can hopefully see those. Uh, thanks again to Bootleg Drew for coming out. No, no I problem. hope you enjoyed yeah, your time here. Good time. And you know, again, if you like these sort of back and forth we have with Drew, check out the uh, the Legs Play channel. I believe that the week this came out, we just played Fury. That should be yeah. up. Yeah, nice little interesting indie game that's all about <laughs> boss fights, and we talk a little bit about game design and D&D &D and stuff. It's fun. It's, it's fun. a fun time. It's a cool thing, so check that out if you're interested. And until next time, good luck. Have fun. Oh, hey, welcome to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just wanted to take a moment to thank all my patrons for making the show possible but especially the high-tier patrons who make me cry magical musky tears of manly joy. They are Salt Leg Kale, Joe Average, Slamuel, Buster Blader, Night Fang, Munch Rye, Hobsy, Chris W, Austin Glover, J3 Puffin, Muda Jean, Dancing Joker, Mr. Eiffel, Manuel Torres, Inner Hype, Jeffrey Longrano, Live Bait, Diotic, Ike of the Grail Mercenaries, Quintingent, Antonio Simonelli, Lucas Geardis, and Daniel Frowsing. Each and every one of them donated at least $25, and for that they have my eternal thanks. If you'd like to join them, the Patreon link is in the description below, and this episode's secret passcode of the day is BOOM! Headshot! Be sure to include that in the comment below to show you made it all the way to the end. Thanks again, and have a nice day. <laughs>